Welcome to another episode of How To With Paul Henderson. Today's episode is going to be the unboxing and the setting up of the Wemo Smart Plug. I don't think it's going to be much of an unboxing. It's a pretty small box. I had bought this Smart Plug from Best Buy for about 25 bucks. So um, let's get to the unboxing. So here we go. instruction manual and here is the Wemo Wi-Fi smart plug that's it I'm currently using two of these Wemo smart plugs um, so what you need to do before you can uh, use your Wemo smart plug you need to go to your app store and download the app and I will show you what that looks like right now As you can see, here is the Wemo app right here, W-E-M-O. So once you download it from your Play Store, go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you what to do next. Now it's recommended that when you're uh, when you're hooking uh, the Wemo Smart Plug up to um, uh, your uh, your cell phone or your tablet, that you should um, have it as close to the router as possible. So what I'm going to do with mine, I'm going to have it hooked up to an extension cord. You don't have to worry; it will function away from the router it's just that they recommend setting up as close to the router as possible that way there won't be any uh, Wi-Fi disruption or loss of um, loss of connection so um, now let's get to the, the setting up part so here's my power source for the Wemo smart plug now what you're gonna do is after you uh, download the app to your uh, to your phone from your Play Store you're gonna click on it Follow the prompts to set up an account. Just email address, phone numbers. You're going to have to make up a password, so make sure you write that password down so you don't forget it. Now, since I already have two Wemo smart plugs uh, hooked up to this app, I have two on here already. If you didn't have any, it's going to be blank. And what you're going to do is, if it was blank, or in my case, I need to add one, you're going to hit the little cog wheel. Well, let me do remind later. Uh, the settings button right here add a Wemo you click on that and then you click on what you're going to be adding to uh, the app Wemo smart plugs, Wemo dimmer, Wem Wemo light switch LED light bulbs, crock pot, Wemo maker there's a whole list of them so I'm going to be doing a smart plug so you click on smart plug and then what you're supposed to do is plug it in and you're going to see a solid white light right here it should start blinking any second so it's blinking on and off right now once it goes to flashing orange and white it takes uh, maybe 30 seconds so you click on here it's plugged in the light will blink two colors when it's ready for setup so it's still blinking uh, white. So now it's blinking uh, the red and the white. It's ready for setup. Open Wi-Fi settings. Then you're going to click on the Wemo Wi-Fi setting. And it's connecting. And then you backspace back open the app back up and right now it's connected to the Wemo this one so I'm going to type in a name I'm going to put a desk light alright so I got that next Right now it's attempting to connect to uh, the Wemo smart plug. Now 
and it's doing it through my cellular network uh, network now. And it's supposed to do that. Don't worry about it. So it's solid white now, which means it's connected. So just backspace. And then you can reopen the app. Now it should show three devices on here. Here's the desk light. So what I want to do, I'm going to sit that down for a second. I'm going to click on uh, the pencil for editing. Click on desk light. And then I'm going to click on picture. Take a picture. Then save it. Now I got a picture of the light right there. So now watch the smart plug. So I go ahead and hit the button. I clicked it on. Click it again. Turns it off. I'll show you uh, the light going on and off. So let me go ahead and get this ready. Now before you disconnect it from uh, where you just set it up at, a pop-up window comes up and says new firmware available. Do you want to update it now? So you're going to want to update it now. It might take a few minutes. So just leave it alone. Let it do its thing until it's totally finished. And then you'll get a, a confirmation that it's been updated. So let me go ahead and click on update yes. And then you're just going to accept the update. See now it's a update in progress. And I don't know if you can see it, but the, the light's flashing right now which means that it's communicating with the with the, the Wemo the Wemo server. So just let it do its thing and then uh, when the light goes off then you can go ahead and uh, unplug it from here plug it in where you want. Now whenever you unplug it from one outlet to another what's gonna happen is it's a uh, it's gonna have to relink to the Wi-Fi that could take uh, anywhere between 30 seconds to three minutes so once the update is complete, you will get a confirmation from the app. It says, hooray, it's complete. And once it's complete, uh, the light goes off. So you're all ready to, uh, to use it. But now uh, what you're going to do is once you unplug it from where you set it up at and you plug it into the outlet that you want to use it in, it has to go through a, uh, um, it has to relink to your router and then it'll check for a new update but of course there won't be any new updates because you just did an update so let's get on to that part so what you do now is you plug in your Wemo smart plug so it's a uh, solid white now which means it has power it should start blinking there we go so now what it's going to do is going to relink to the router and then it's going to check for new updates and like I said there won't be any so it should go right to um, where you can operate it from the Wemo app. It takes about 30 seconds maybe, maybe three minutes. It all depends upon the speed of your connection. So now it's communicating. Shouldn't be much longer. There you go. Less than a minute, I believe. Now that the Wemo smart plug is uh, linked to your router and to the app in your phone, go ahead and plug in the device that you're going to use. Let's see, I'll pull up my app. Okay, so once I hit the power on button for the desk light, the little white dot should light up. There you go. Light came on. Light goes off. Light came on. Goes off. Well, the unboxing was short. The setup was easy. Um, just follow the directions on the app and you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, I'll show you uh, the light real quick. 
So right now it's off. Hit the button, it's on. Now it's off. <laughs> Why did I hook it up to uh, my desk lamp? I don't know. I'll figure out uh, something else to plug into it, but for right now, I'm going to keep uh, my desk lamp hooked up to it. And uh, I'll show you how to do a reset in case uh, you have to reset the, uh, the, the Wemo Smart Plug back to factory specs. So I'll show you that in a second. There are two ways to uh, reset the Wemo Smart Plug. Uh, the first one is if it's still linked to your, um, your app and you want to just put it back to factory specs and then start it over, which will delete any, um, any programs that you have for that particular plug where if, it, if you have it come on certain times of the day, it's going to erase all that. It's going to put it back to factory specs and then you just uh, start the whole process over in order to uh, link the Wemo Smart Plug to, your, uh, to the app. I'll show you that right now. There are two ways to do a factory reset. This one is through the app. So what you're going to do, first I'm going to go ahead and turn off the light. You click on the edit icon. You're going to click on the Wemo smart plug you want to edit. Reset options. Clear all product info. Reset Wi-Fi. Erase all settings and content. Now what that's going to do, if you had uh, any uh, settings in there where you have it come on certain times of the day, That'll all be erased. It's no big deal. You just reset it up all over again. I'm not going to go ahead and do it, but if you did click on this, all you got to do after it gets done uh, doing a factory reboot or reset, go ahead and uh, unplug it, wait a few seconds, plug it back in, and do the setting up process all over again. And it's actually easier the second time around. Now for the second way to reboot, you're going to do this if uh, you can't locate the Wemo Smart Plug on the app in your phone. So what you're going to do, you are going to hold the power button in and keep holding it, unplug it, pull it out for a couple seconds, continue to hold the button, plug it back in, still holding the button, and wait for the light to start blinking. Right now it's solid white. Now it's red. Now it's blinking. And now that's going to go into factory reset mode and all you'll have to do is to do the reset process up all over again. Okay, so it's flashing the two colors. So I'm back in the app. I'm going to uh, reset it back up. Is it ready for setup? Yes. And then I go ahead and click back on the Wemo Wi-Fi, connect. And now it's reconnecting the app. You just do the whole setup all over again. And that's it. It's still connecting. There we go. Light is solid white, which means it's finished. Now I'll show you. So there we go. It's back to factory specs because the picture of my light is no longer on the, the app. And of course I want to put that back. Now edit. Picture. Take a photo. There we go. Perfect. 
Well, that's a wrap up on another how-to video with Paul Henderson, and this one was the unboxing and the setting up of the Wemo Smart Plug. Hit like if you like it, hit subscribe, and then you'll get notifications as new videos come out. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.